Hi, everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas and um, making this video for you so that you have access to it during the holidays. So hope you enjoy. I'm going to get back in place. I'm not using any props um, except for a wall or a chair. So if um, when I give that cue, if you want to use those props or that space, then feel free to do that. I don't have a wall, but I'm going to use my couch I have here. So hold on a second. Let me get set up. Go ahead and find a comfortable um, seated position. Today, our focus is going to be uh, one that I modified from Tumi, T U M M E E dot com, and um, which is a sequence making program. That's why you always see me with papers in class. So, anyway, find your comfortable seat. It might be cross-legged. If that's too tight for you, bring your feet out into a diamond as far as you like. And um, you can also lie down here. So we're just taking a few minutes to get settled, making ourselves 100% comfortable. If you like, you can close your eyes. If not, you can imagine an object in front of you, or you can put an object in front of you that uh, might be meaningful for you. So this is our check-in time or self-awareness time. Uh, we can't meet our needs if we don't know what they are. So this is our time to just listen without judgment, uh, without berating ourselves or trying to shame ourselves or anyone else. It's just about noticing and beginning to accept us exactly where we are. Because that's where yoga meets us. So as you get settled, just noticing any parts of the body that you might be holding. So relaxing the corners of the eyes. Letting go in the temples. Noticing if we have our jaw clenched, you can tell if your teeth are touching each other, the top and bottom rows don't have any space between them. So on the next exhale, just breathe and drop that jaw just a little bit if your teeth were clenched. Bringing the relaxation down to the neck and shoulders. Breathing them down, you'll notice that um, I sigh quite a bit or yawn, and that's just I feel energy bubbling up, and it just helps to take that energy and breathe it out. It helps me to clear my pathways, my chakras, and let go of any tension I might be holding. So relaxing the arms down. Letting the palms be soft and supple. <sighs> Noticing the heart. The back of the heart and the front of the heart. And if there's any tension or holding, grasping especially, just breathe that out. Whatever it is we're worried about, we're just going to let that go for now. Stop giving whatever it is free space in our head, in our hearts. And then noticing the belly. Mm. 
noticing if the spine is uh, nice and straight and long. I know some of you have issues where your spine is not perfectly straight, so feel free to modify or substitute or skip anything that I say as you're taking care of yourself and your own body. Some things you might do is take a little pillow or maybe another mat or even a blanket and put it on under one hip if your spine is crooked. As we breathe here, taking the palms of the hands and putting them right at the top of the thigh, fingers forward and thumbs back, and just have a rotation, just turning the hips outward, lifting the energy right there on the inner thighs opens and releases. Now take a breath. <sighs> take as many as you need whenever you need. And when you're ready, just releasing, coming back to relax arms, let the legs be heavy. And on the next exhale, see how we can deepen the roots of our body using the earth to stabilize us, to support us, sometimes even cradle us if we feel like we need some positive attention. Nourishment. Being able to let go. And now just noticing our breath and see if your breath flows the cue of the body and you relax the body. Did the breath become more even and more deep? Your breath and body all have a reciprocal nature. So the more we try to relax our body, the deeper our breath is, the deeper our breath goes and nice long breaths with relaxed belly, then the body is going to calm down. So it's this positive cyclical nature that comes from just sitting still and noticing. Now just noticing the breath. If you like, maybe changing the breath. If you're feeling lethargic or sluggish, let your inhale be a couple of beats longer than your exhale. And it might sound like this as a pack. Inhale, two, three, four, Five, pause, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, pause, exhale, two, three, four. And if you're on autopilot or very, very busy, then you do the opposite as a choice. Inhale to four, exhaling to five with a pause. So just a few more breaths here, using our breath as a tool.
the tool that we have with us always. And then lastly, you might set an intention for your practice today. Today I'm kind of doing a detox, a Christmas detox or a holiday detox. Just maybe we're eating things that we don't usually eat or drinking things that we don't usually drink or maybe in different amounts. Um, and that can affect our digestive system and just like I said, our body, brains, um, all feel that. Nothing is separate. They all play off of each other. So if you'd like to set an intention of detox and letting things go, adding some fluidity to the gut, let that be your intention. You can choose to have no intention or you might have a different purpose and focus for being here. And then two more breaths. Good. If you're lying down, you might slowly start to sit back up, moving into a seated position. In a seated position, you might lengthen your legs out and rub them or bounce them. Even pat, just getting blood flow to the legs. Good, and then come back into a seated position. You might have your other foot in front or your other foot on top. So if you like, remembering that everything is a suggestion, you can skip it, modify it, or substitute for your own needs. I invite you to bring the hands over the heart. And just acknowledge any blessings that you would like to add gratitude for. And then if you wish, just bowing in gratitude. Slowly rolling up the spine. Once again, let those shoulders roll back. <sighs> Reach from the top of the head. And then if you wish, just greeting each other through the waves of technology. So glad you're joining this morning and so glad you're able to make it to um, practice here. So I'm changing my mat just because the nature of the poses that I'm going to do um, are not pleasing for you in the angle that I'm at, were I to go back onto my back. <laughs> so I'm to an angle. You are welcome. But you can say right where you are. Now, we're going to use either a wall or a piece of furniture if you're at home. So if you are in a uh, studio or room that you have access to a wall, that's excellent. You can see here I have a couch and I can use it the same. If you don't have any of those, you can actually do them without it. So let's start on the backs. Grabbing the back of the legs, rolling backwards. <sighs> Bringing our knees into our chest. Is my right. Right. 
Go ahead and pull the knees into the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. And just wiggle and feel that spine being massaged by the earth and the mat that you have. Just really ground there and wiggle around. And now we're just kind of doing a marching pose. So I'm taking my right leg, making it nice and straight. I'm keeping my left leg bent and my left arm up. My right arm is down, my left arm, the fingertips, oops, that's wrong, that's opposite. The fingertips of the right hand are reaching up and the fingertips of the left hand are reaching overhead. And let your foot pull back toward the knee so that there's an engagement of the leg. We're reaching with the fingertips and pulling the toes back toward the body. We're moving with the breath here. So inhale, we're switching out everything. So the left hand goes up, I mean right hand, left hand goes up, right hand goes overhead, and the left leg is reaching through the heel. So the knee is up on the right, fingertips are up on the left. The left heel is reaching and the right finger nails are reaching and the tips of the fingers. And if you still are just, I, you can see that I totally understand how that could be confusing. Just remember, as long as we're moving and breathing, we're doing wonderful things for our body. So let's switch. So the Right fingertips are coming up as the right leg goes down. Left knee comes up, left fingertips go overhead. And just breathe. It's actually easier to just move in a flow than it is for me to call it out every time. Don't forget to pull those toes back, inhaling, exhaling, or as we move. Good. One more set on each side. And good. Now bring both knees in toward the chest. Roll the shoulders back. And let's do a full roll over to the side, left to right. <sighs> Breathe. One more side. Good. Coming up. And now dead bug pose or happy baby pose. So taking the right hand, one variation is to grab underneath the right leg. Left hand goes under left leg. And then I'm pulling the feet toward me and the knees toward me. Another variation is either to hold the shins, or if you have the space, hold the feet. Now, let your head go back down. And you get this beautiful stretch right there at the top of the shoulders. And then go ahead into true happy baby pose. Let the feet be flat to the ceiling and engage the shoulders down. <sighs> One more breath. Good. Now we're lengthening the legs out. We're moving my hands to the inside of the legs like the hands are facing out, sort of wrapping the inner up there. And I'll just use that weight of the legs and the pulling of the arms. Open up the pelvis. You can even rotate your ankles here. <sighs> Remembering to take as many sides as you need to. Good. Now, 
On the next exhale, bring the heels in, press the heels to the floor, press through the elbows, roll the knees to the left, reel the right shoulder blade under, roll to the right, let the left shoulder back blade come under. And I'm pulling my heels in as I press and lift the hips up. One variation here is to make L's with your hands. The fingers are fused together, the thumb sticking out. And you have one on the other side too, pressing the elbows and just hooking underneath the top of the pelvis. So it's a supported posture here. Now, if you happen to have a block with you, you can always slide it right under here, under the sacrum. Good, and just breathe. Enjoy the opening of the front of the body. You have this beautiful opening of the digestive organs. Come on. Good. One more breath. Nice. And exhaling. Roll down one vertebra at a time. And let's let the legs fall left to right. Wherever your feet are, just wherever they're planted is fine. Good. Come to one side. Doesn't matter which. Roll over. Push through the top hand. And coming to our wall postures. Or couch postures, whichever you feel is right for you. And I'm going to use my mat just flush against that. And then I'm sitting in a Sukhasana, your easy pose. Again, you can let your feet come together. You can let one leg bend and one leg go out here. So bringing the feet together, we're just going to grab the ankles, or if you're doing one leg, one ankle, and lift. See how my back just changes from being rounded? That's going to affect my breath, my digestive system, the pelvic belly, all kinds of things in there. Even my throat is limited in curve of the spine here. So I'm grabbing the ankles and I'm lifting up, lifting the heart, rolling the shoulders back and down. <sighs> Breathe here. Now, if you are up against a wall, you can bring your feet to press against the wall, the toes. Bring your hips closer and then lean back on your arms. And you can see that I can do this without the wall too. But the wall just somehow or something right here just gives the extra support so that we can come closer to whatever that we have in front of us. So bringing the hands down, rolling the shoulders back and down, lifting. And breathing. <sighs> One more breath. Good. Coming back, you might move your seat back to keep where it is. Come to simple pose, supas, and I hear simple cross legged. And let's start with the right. So I'm bringing my right hand up and placing it on the object. It can be a chair or a wall or a couch. Inhale, lift, 
and use that pressure to rotate toward the left. So you get just a little bit more of a twist using this pressure. Good. Feel the engagement of the core. <sighs> Let out any held up energy. Good. Inhale and then exhale. Come to central. Once again, lengthen. Take the left hand, touch the wall, the chair, the couch. Bringing our right arm behind, lift up and twist. And just remember this is a detox session focused for our practice. So just let go of anything that tries to stick or hold on. On the next exhale, come toward center. Good. And now I have a couch, so I can't really press against it this way. Um, so I'm just going backwards here. Leaning, maybe you can bring your hands to a wall. I prefer to get a nice stretch. Or if you have a chair or a couch. You can just lean forward and have a supported stretch here. One more breath. Good. Come back. And let's change our feet. So we're bringing our other leg in front of me. It's my left leg. And now I'm turning to the right again. I'm going to anchor my hand, lift up, the other arm goes back, and twist. <sighs> Good. Inhale, coming to center. Anchor and twist. Now remember the detox is just not a physical detox. If anything negative has happened or we have fear or anxiety about the future, just breathe that out too. Wow, let it go. It does not serve us. On the next exhale, coming back to center. And this time we're bringing the bottoms of our feet together in Bhakkanasana. If you have a wall, you can press against the wall and lean forward. If you're working with a chair, or an ottoman, or whatever you have, just come close enough so that the feet are touching the wall or whatever you have. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, come forward that way. Those are just two variations. Ah.
Good, one more breath. Come on. And you're welcome to stay right where you are. I'm going to switch my position so that I'm facing you again. So if you need to take a break right now, uh, change clothing or take a sip. Slowly moving toward a standing position. And let's plant the feet. Open the palms and breathe. And here's a practice that I do sometimes um, if I've been in an environment uh, that was busy or uh, loud, a lot of lights or people, or even being around a person that might be toxic for me or my spirit. When I get home, this is just a little ritual I do and it makes a change for me. So coming back to center, take your right hand and just run it along the arm and the other. It's almost like taking a shower. And I just let that negative energy or that feeling be released. And you can go down legs. The body reads that stroking and it does calm down when we do that. As long as you need to as many times as you need to, you can add that to your practice. Good, now let's add just a strength practice here in our warm up. Palms down, arms up, inhale, lift. Exhale, ha. chair pose. You'll notice my hands can be right above my knee. I want to tuck the tailbone under. So you can see I had a sway back and now it's flat. And then the arms can go up as much as you like. Good. Now we're going to do what I call the big foot pose or the Sasquatch pose. So we're taking one arm back and one arm ahead and then look towards your one arm back. You know that picture they have of Sasquatch walking in the forest? <laughs> That's what I feel like in this pose. And then inhale, switch, turn toward the back arm. <sighs> Good, one last time, switch, getting a good workout on the legs all through this. And then exhale. <sighs> nice. Now come all the way down. Bring your elbows close to the knee. Breathe here, and now we're just going to twist. You can take your left elbow to your right knee, or you can make it go straight, arm on the outside of the knee if you like. And so we're just bringing the hands together and twisting, or you can bring the arm to the outside and swing the other arm up. Exhale. Last side, maybe connect with that knee or maybe a straight arm. Good. Exhale. Unbend those legs. I bet that feels pretty good right about now and just hang. 
Now, if you have blood pressure, eye pressure, untreated issues, vertigo, or migraines, then maybe place the hands on the shins and come into half forward fold, Bardo Uttanasana. If you don't have those issues, grab the elbows and hang. Good, bend the knees, sweep up, and exhale. Good, find your footing. Roll the shoulders back and down. And let's do some sun salutations. Warming up wherever you are. Palms down, arms up, inhale. And exhale, fold. Hands on the shins or lower down all the way to the floor, anywhere in between. Inhale, press where you are, look forward. Exhale, release, bring the right knee down. Plant the foot. In the front, on the bottom, plant the foot on the top, in the front. Inhale, lifting up. Breathe, open the chest. Exhale, hum. Fall forward. Inhale, exhale, child's pose. One breath. Inhale, coming up all fours. Exhale, either coming down right to the forearms, or you can bring the elbows in and lower down. Arms out front, elbows under the shoulders, top of the feet lifting, and then lengthen and lift. Good. Inhale, exhale, come down, all fours, and bringing the hips back to the heels. Now take at least five breaths here. <clears throat> Reconnecting with your intention if you chose to set one. Continuing to release any negativity into the supportive arm. Even if you just let go for the next breath. Inhaling, coming back up, shifting the weight to the left, bringing the right foot forward now. Good. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, hands on each side, turn the toe under, lift the knee, push off, forward fold, feet side by side. Exhale, halfway, all the way down. Inhaling, reverse. Exhale. <laughs> Bringing the hands to heart center. Let's do the other side. You can do exactly like we did the first side, or you can try different variations that I will be doing. Palms down, arms up. Inhale. Exhaling, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, plant the hands, look forward. Exhale, left foot goes back, knee down or knee up. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, hands come down on each side. Let's do it. Bring that right foot back, all fours, forward the knees up, plank. Inhale, exhale, pressing back, either down, child's pose, like we did the first time, or downward facing dog. After that one breath, inhale, coming forward, exhaling either on the forearms or keeping the elbows in all the way down. Hands under the shoulders this time. Inhale, lift. Exhale. <sighs> inhale, plank for all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
or child's pose. Use that tool of the breath. Even out the breath. Feel on exhale that we are releasing, becoming lighter, becoming more clear minded. On the next inhale, whenever that happens for you, coming forward, all fours or plank, shifting the weight to the right, bring the left foot forward. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Bring the feet beside each other. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Reverse sweeping up. Exhaling. Good. Once again, take a breath for a standing meditation. I'm going to get some mouth moisturizer. Once again, come back to that self-awareness in the moment. <sighs> Good, now let's move to the ground. Palms down, arms up, inhaling, exhaling forward, fold. <laughs> And you can come down to your knees. Again, I'm going to turn my mat so that you can better see what I'm doing here. There we go, coming down to our knees. And then coming to uh, our manasana with integrity, which means my belly button is pulled up toward my spine. My tailbone is slightly tucked. My arms are engaged so that my chest is level or above my shoulders. And my head is nice and relaxed. Good. Moving into Golugasana legs, cow face legs. So thanking Amy Campbell for this uh, mod variation of getting into it, I'm taking my uh, right leg and I'm crossing it over my left so that the knees are on top of each other. And then I'm slowly walking my hands back so that I end up in cow face legs. Some variations of to put a block underneath you to sit on the foot, or you can do this if your knees or hips are recovering or tight. You can sit down and do this with the bottom leg. Now my left leg is straight and my right leg is just crossed over. It's a little more friendly. So coming back, making modifications for you. Good. Adding another twist since we're working on detox. So inhale, once again, lifting a little bit tighter knee than we did at the beginning of class. So the left hand, hand reaches toward the right knee and I'm twisting away from the top leg. Hmm. One more breath. Good. Now I'm taking both hands and I'm just walking them out in front, coming back around, and I'm twisting away from the left. 
And if that didn't work for you, it didn't work for me either. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Breathe. We all have bodies that are different. So it's going to look different than every one of us. All right, now to come out, just come forward. Uncross the legs and cross the left leg over, walking back. Noticing any differences in the sides. Mine's pretty pronounced. So inhaling, making those adjustments if you need to. Lengthening one leg and crossing the other leg over. Inhale, lift through the top of the head, take the right hand to the knee and twist. See if a smile can slowly make it back to the face here, even if it's just the corners of the mouth or even if it's just the eyes. And then exhale through center. I'm just going to turn this time. You can walk with your hands if you like. Inhale, lift and twist to the other side. Good, inhale, coming through center one more time and then walking forward. Good. And now let's give those hips a little bit of a rest. So I'm walking backwards on my mat just till my toe is touching right at the edge of the mat. And then just walking down to our belly. And once again, if you're in my classes, we just take some time to add some fluidity. To the pelvis, the lower back, the hip joints. Good, and then slowly come to center. Fold the arms in front. Let's turn to the left. You can use your block here or just your folded arms. And then whichever way you're turning, that knee comes up and you can bring the foot in or you can make it square off. Good. And rest here. Good, one more breath. Good. And then a version of cattail, if you like, keeping the knee bent in the front, bend the back leg. You can just leave it bent here. So you can reach back with your, sorry, that is my right leg, bending the knee in my right leg and grabbing it with my left hand here. You can stay laying down. You can have a little more of a back bend if you prop yourself up on your elbow. That opens up the front of the leg that we work so hard in our chair poses for number one exercise as we put on years. Now, if you're young, like like I am, then can't start too early. You also can't start too late. So just start today to build up the strength in the top part of the legs. Release when you're ready. 
<sighs> Shake the hips one more time. <sighs> Invite fluidity to that area. So this is a detox practice. Giving breaks is a way to just find that balance, equanimity. Good. And then folding the arms, turning the head in the opposite direction. Whichever side you're turning to, bring that knee up. And just rest here in this spine release pose. You're welcome to stay here, or you can bend that left leg in the back, maybe reaching the heel toward the glute. You can reach back with the right hand and grab the foot, either laying down, or you can prop yourself up on your elbow. <laughs> Good, on the next exhale, release. Ah, good, pushing up into all fours. Now, our back bend was in the opposite direction uh, with the belly down and the chest up. And so now we're just doing the opposite. Let's bring the belly button up. Let the tail tuck under and let the head rest down. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhaling. Good. Find neutral here. And then find your final relaxation pose, your Shavasana pose. Now, you're welcome to go back onto your belly and either use your block, arms, or maybe a blanket as a pillow. This feels good. Just giving different pressure, letting the back of the body be free and let the belly and the legs ground, if you wish. Now, if that doesn't work for you, a different variation would be to turn on the side. Let your hips be stacked at first, and then bring that left knee forward and rest here. I will give a cue to change sides if you're on one side. I'll give you a cue in the middle of the meditation. And then, of course, you can come to just traditional Shavasana, which is on the back. Just remember, if you're expecting, do not lay flat on your back. You want some kind of angle. maybe a bolster or a set of pillows or a couch cushion underneath and then just make yourself a nice ramp whatever's underneath you and then just rest here if you're not expecting you can lay flat on the back feet come apart knees fall away from each other palms rest on the floor
And then begin to let go of the practice. You start ruminating about any performance or judgments toward yourself or others. Just breathe those out. And then I'm just going to sit up, but you can stay in the position that you're in. Just so that the microphone picks up my voice better. <sighs> Let go of any controlled breath. Notice any space created in the body and in our practice and just breathe into that space. And if you wish, just imagine being supported by something underneath the body, whatever position you're in. And you're just starting to rise above. Maybe you're water, you're floating on top of the water. Maybe you're in a grassy field or in the middle of the woods, on the beach, whatever brings you joy. But we're rising and letting all of the chaos or mess, any shame, judgment or judgments that were thrown upon us. And start to rise above that. Maybe it falls beneath you a little farther away. Start to enjoy lightness and ease, clarity of mind, lifting of the heart. Now if you're on one side, then you might choose to just gently move to the other side, or if you're finding that one pose, having a sweet spot. You're welcome to stay in that pose. And just a couple more breaths in this space where you find yourself physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Being where we are being gentle with ourselves, 
where we are. In whatever condition we find ourselves in. Take a couple more breaths. May we all have hope this season. May we all treat ourselves and others with compassion. And may we all find joy in our bodies, our hearts, our minds, and or our spirits, even if it's just for a few moments. When you're ready, stretching in an east-west stretch, either on your belly or on your back or on your side, wherever you end it up, Oh, and then exhale, hug the knees if you're not already on your side, roll to the side. Take a breath there. When you're ready, pushing through your top hand, coming back to a comfortable seated position. The light in me sees and honors that same light that is within you. Namaste. And thank you.